All right, Steigerwald here. Yes, I am a local celebrity. But anyway, I'm gonna teach you how to find the area in the perimeter of a composite figure. This one's pretty basic, but it's the same kind of technique as they get more complicated. So let's see if we can do this one. Uh, I'm gonna go for the perimeter first. P equals, well, perimeter is the distance around. So I got six plus 13 plus eight. See, this is what's called showing your work plus four. Well, all we need is this guy. Well, from here to here is eight, and from here to here is six. So this must be six. So what's left over? Two inches. Now we need this one here. So let's add two inches. And then we gotta add this little guy here. All the way is 13. This much is four. So what's left over? Nine inches. So let's add it up. What is that? Uh, 19, 27, 31, 40, 42. Let's label it 42 inches is the perimeter. The area, maybe I'll use a different color. Okay, you could break this up into shapes that you know, so I know rectangles, so I could maybe do a dotted line and find the area of this rectangle. So maybe I'll do that. I could have also done this dotted line, but let's find this little nugget right here. It's two by eight, and that is eight inches squared. Why is it squared? Because two times four is eight, and inches times inches is inches squared. What's this rectangle? Well, six times 13, which is what? 78 inches squared. Now you could use a calculator, six times 13. So my area is 78 plus eight is 86 inches squared. And that's how you find the area and perimeter of a composite figure.